this is Christy with KB Shimmer. Today we're going to get started on a 15 color swirl in a slab mold. I have just added my lye into my oils and going to get started stiff blending those. I'm looking for just emulsified. I don't want even the lightest trace on there because I want a lot of time to work with my colors. I've got 15 cups. I'll have micas that are pre-mixed with oils. I've used my frother, which is a tool you can get at an Ikea, a coffee shop, online. Um, what a frother does is just mixes the oils and the micas together just so they're very smooth so you don't have any lumps or um, you know clumps of colors once you get them mixed with your soaps. So here I have my soap just mixed. I'm going to grab a paper towel and set my stick blender on it. And I'm going to start pouring color into each of my cups. I'm going to use about a cup of color, maybe a little bit less. I want to make sure that I have enough base so that I can get all my colors. is going to get me right where I need to be. I want a pretty thin trace. I don't want to get the stick blender going because that's going to move it along. And I want these to stay pretty liquid, especially at the beginning when I am working on stirring the other colors. Okay, I've got all my colors mixed up. I've gone ahead and moved the mold in front of the camera so you can get a good shot as to what I'm doing. I'm basically going to just start layering my colors. I'm going to keep them in a line so that when I go to swirl them, I'm not mixing the colors too much. So we'll go ahead and just pick a color. And at first it's just going to be a little bit messy. And I'm not going to worry about that because we're going to layer color colors over it. So just pour a little in there. And I don't really worry about which colors I do first here. I just want to get them down and nice and layered. I do this as I want to have swirls throughout my whole soap. If I were to just use a base of plain color and just a few swirls on the top, then when you continue to use the soap, you would wear it down and just have white, and that's not fun. So, just going to keep layering on. It does take a little bit to, to really build it up. I'm, again, I'm not really worrying about how messy it's looking. Just want to get all those colors down there. And here's where I'm a little more conscious of what colors I'm going to use, kind of layering them in the way that I want them to be seen. The black I'm going to put down first because I really just want that to be an accent color. I don't want that to be one of my main colors. So just nice thin lines. I'm okay with a little bit of speckles because we're going to go through and swirl this again. Get all that out there. With uh, 15 different colors and 15 different cups, um, I do like to scrape a little bit more than I normally do just because otherwise I've got a lot of waste in different colors. Here's some more of the bronze. try to make sure that I'm getting it all the way over to the edge because 
I'm going to put dividers down so every bar is going to, to do this. I'm going to just shake it a little bit, level it out. I'm going to put dividers in here after I swirl it. So I want it to be as level as possible so my bars are not um, higher in the middle and lower on the ends. So you can see when I shake it, it's still pretty liquidy. I'm going to go from one corner all the way over to the other. And then I'm going to go back and do some more abstract swirls. And I don't want to do this too much because I don't want everything to get into a big gray mess, which will happen if you over swirl. And I'm taking my skewer and going all the way down to the bottom because I do want the swirls to be throughout the whole bar. So you can see you could leave it like that, but I like to go back. Just give it a little bit more of an abstract look. And swirl it this way. Every batch is a little bit different, which I love. Because you never know what it's going to turn out like once you get all the colors laid. I could try to remember exactly what colors I put in each time, but how fun would that be? Okay, now I've got my dividers. When I put my dividers in, they are going to help pull the swirls down so the sides of the bars are swirled too. So I'm just going to put that in. Put these long ones in first. And again, shake it a little bit so it evens it out. So I don't want my bars curved at the edges. Now these go in this way. And got that. I make sure I press it so it's all the way down. Again, shake it a little bit, just so it's all nice and even, and there we go. That is the Rockstar Soap. Let me get a good view of it for you. Nice and colorful, and you can see the patterns on it. Tomorrow I'll be back and show you what it looks like on mobile.